Coming to the next one, we are having a young boy who is complaining of itching, watering and rhinorrhea. So basically, uh, always remember the dictum itching is equal to allergy. So this uh, young boy is coming with the allergy, with the watering, rhinorrhea is also there and you can look at the image too. Now look at the image here. So I told you how to differentiate between the GPC and the VKC. I told you that. Okay. So you can see here we are having the diffuse uh, enlargement. You are seeing the polygonal raised areas. You are also seeing the polygonal raised areas and this is called as the cobblestone papillae. So here you are not having the giant papillae, you are not having the uh, history of contact lenses or the sutures or the prosthetics and you are also having the diffuse enlargement this one. So we are sure that it is going towards the VKC. Along with this I am having itching. Itching means allergy and allergy is going along with the VKC. Right. Therefore answer to this question is definitely vernal keratoconjunctivitis. Now though GPC is not given in the option but even if GPC is given in the option I have told you how to rule out that. Trachoma is definitely not there. Trachoma may you are going to get the sago grain follicles. You are going to get the sago grain follicles. You are going to get the papillary hyperplasia. Bacterial conjunctivitis may we will get the mucopurulent discharge. We are going to get the mucopurulent discharge. Therefore, it is not a case of bacterial conjunctivitis also. So, you are sure that the answer is vernal keratoconjunctivitis. Now, another important thing is um, look at the images. See, this is acute mucopurulent conjunctivitis that uh, you are going to see in the bacterial conjunctivitis. So, usually patient will say that there is uh, matting of the eyelashes, there is uh, uh, stickiness in the eyelids and the patient is not able to open the eyes when he gets up in the morning and very, very typical picture in cases of trachoma, the typical sago grain follicle, sago grain means sabudana. So, when we boil the sabudana, the pearl-like appearance that we get, these are your sago grain follicles and this is your papillary hyperplasia. These two images are just like the hallmark and uh, even trachoma is very very important. Now always remember that uh, out of all the high yield topics, some of the topics are sure shot for you like bubblu, like retinoblastoma, like the vernal keratoconjunctivitis, GPC and trachoma. So, these things are definitely going to be asked from you. So, we can have the papillary hyperplasia as well as we have this agograin follicles and we are getting a mixed response in the trachoma. This is again very, very important. I have told you about the safe strategy also, right? So, remember all these things.